Yes, Susan, no matter where you go, you're seeing these high prices all across the Southland. You know, for a lot of cases, people are going to have to start making the decision to whether to put food on the table or to start filling up their tanks. Here in the Crenshaw District, you can see a lot of different prices here. Uh, it is remains above average, though, and it is having a big impact on drivers. Listen here. I mean, prices were tough before because, you know, we're, we're like in the lower class and now it's like, especially here in the area of Crenshaw, you know, it's not like a higher class area, so it's, it's insane. I don't know, I'm going to have to take the train more to get to places, you know, if my mom has to drop me off at practice or stuff like that. I mean, it went up by like, I, I won't say like $20, like every time I fill up, so it does make a difference, like when you're trying to like buy something else, you know. It's horrible, you know, I, I work a decent living, but you know, it's like down. Yeah, that's a sentiment shared with so many. The average, average price of a gallon of self-serve regular in L.A. County rose to $5.37. Some gas stations in the area even higher than that, though. The Shell at Olympic and Fairfax, for instance, in Mid-City, that one skyrocketed to $7.29 a gallon for premium. Then across the state, a gallon of regular, now five twenty-eight. That's compared with just $3.73 the same time a year ago. This is all according to the latest data from AAA. Now, for people for, who drive for a living, this cost is simply unsustainable. Listen here. Live drivers, no, no more uh, profit for me, you know? Yeah, watch, just seven dollars, 45, almost 45 dollars. It's a huge problem. Now, in an effort to help, Lyft has just announced that it's now partnering with something called Get Upside. It's going to allow drivers to get cash back when they get gas from certain gas stations. Right now, there are 25,000 participating nationwide, even more coming in the following weeks. Now, as you mentioned at the top, Susan, experts say a part of the reason for the spike is because of a supply shortage thanks to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, back out here live, if you are driving yourself, there are a couple of ways that you can save some of that precious gas. One way is that experts say is to just slow down, drive the speed limit. Uh, also, turn off that air conditioning if you can manage it. Maybe roll your windows down. The other thing is to stop idling. If you think your car is going to be stopped for more than 60 seconds at a time, just shut off that engine. But this, unfortunately, is likely going to last for quite some time here in the Southland. Reporting live in Crenshaw, I'm Chelsea Edwards. Susan, I'll send it back to you.